The Denver Broncos have long been supporters of the Denver Rescue Mission, and that continues, especially after the deadly stabbing at the shelter this weekend. Today, the Broncos and Mission teamed up to help families. CBS4, Shauna Kalafi joins us from Mile High, and Shauna, this is a chance for those families to really just feel some love. Yeah, and they are feeling the love today. We're seeing smiles on people's faces. Some of the Broncos are out here putting turkeys in people's cars. So this all started at 9 o'clock, and at first it was only for people that had pre-registered for this food giveaway. But now until 1 o'clock, anybody who needs help putting a Thanksgiving meal on the table can come by. You'll get a turkey and all the other Thanksgiving fixings. So the Denver Rescue Mission holds a Thanksgiving food drive every year, and they collect about 15,000 turkeys. 3,000 of those will be given out today day during this food distribution and the rest go to other nonprofits to give out for Thanksgiving. People who come by here today can get a turkey and boxes with cranberry sauce, mashed potatoes and all the other Thanksgiving fixings. And this food giveaway comes just days after a Denver Rescue Mission employee was stabbed and killed on Saturday. A spokesperson for the Denver Rescue Mission says the staff is heartbroken and grieving, but they will continue to do the work to help those in need. This is a very difficult time for Denver Rescue Mission. Um, our staff continues to persevere through the tragedy that happened on Saturday to continue to make sure that people who are poor and needy and those experiencing homelessness are taken care of, not just during Thanksgiving, but you know every single day. And the Denver Rescue Mission has seen an increase in need for their food services over the last year. And as grocery prices have also increased recently, they say events like this, this Thanksgiving, are more important than ever. In Denver, Shauna Kalafi covering Colorado First.